to Tesla. So in terms of the day's volatility, what did we see? Well, second day lower and the worst one day loss since March. Shares, as mentioned, fell as much as 15 percent before pairing the loss to just under 6 percent by the close. Now, the plunge came after a regulatory filing by a major shareholder. The U.K. fund manager Bailey Gifford and Company showed that its stake in Tesla had been cut to 4.25 percent, down from 7.67 percent from the firm's 13F filing back in February. So the news caused a speed bump, if you will, in the record rise in Tesla's share price. It was down the prior day when Tesla announced it was going to have a uh, major $5 billion uh, share edition. Now, according to Dow Jones, this reduction in stake by the fund was technical in nature. The investment company needed to turn its holding because of guidelines that restrict the weight of a single stock in client portfolios. In fact, it quoted a spokesman for Bailey Gifford in saying they intend to remain, quote, significant shareholders for many years and may even do some more buying if the stock drops significantly uh, in the months and years ahead. I love Tesla. I love, love Tesla stock. I'm going to show you guys my uh, holdings really quick. And uh, yeah, so um, Sue, I'm as lucky. for Tesla's possible inclusion oh, in the s and So uh, here we'll, we'll go ahead and uh, show you guys my uh, holdings on Tesla. I think I only put in a thousand bucks. Yeah, I think this was a thousand dollar investment. And it went up 10x. So uh, I wish I kind of I, I wish I got into Bitcoin earlier and made that kind of money. But uh, yeah, Tesla's been really good. Um, and what's even more awesome is that I actually own most of my Tesla in my uh, IRA. So if you don't know what an IRA or a Roth IRA is, definitely get one of those. It basically grows tax free. So whenever I do um, decide to sell these stock. Uh, I don't have to pay taxes. I do pay taxes when I take it out. But it, a, a Roth, if it was in the Roth, I don't pay any taxes. Unfortunately, as you can see in my personal trading account, I only have one Tesla stock. And if you can see the prices I paid, it's kind of ridiculous. So, um, yeah, one of them I basically paid. So for my IRA, I paid $226 for Tesla shares. Um, that's before the split, obviously. And then... <laughs> I bought only one Tesla share at $267, and I am very upset. I wish I bought a lot more. Um, so I will try to buy some Tesla if there's a dip. Um, it's right now at, what is it, $447. I mean, it, it hit 2000 so at one point it was like $500, you know, before, you know. And um, so I actually put in an order to buy Tesla if it goes under $407. Uh, I hope it goes down there because I do want to add to Tesla, and I am not selling it. I know that people love to speculate about it. Um, now, if you're a younger investor, I want to show you this ETF I really like. Uh, this is probably becoming like the theme of the channel. It's just, you know, you don't have to overpay or, you know, and especially like, you know, it was $2,000 and now it's $400. So like coming into Tesla at a high price may not be a good idea, but what you can do is you can buy an ETF that obviously still owns Tesla. So let's go ahead and show you the one that I like. This was Bets. This is another ETF I like on gaming. You can watch uh, one of my older videos, but it's called LIT, the ETF. So L-I-T Holdings. And once again, I use Zacks just because they do a good job. So where is Zacks? Okay, well, there, there's the ETF. Um, Okay, so I have to put Zacks on it. So here we go. This will show the holdings. And there you go. So Tesla is 6%. I mean, obviously it's not as great, but just battery technology, I'm very bullish. And then just look at some of the other, like Samsung, I like. And that's a stock you can't own. It's a foreign stock, so that's why it's nice to have ETFs. Um, Panasonic is another good one. Um, so yeah, check out Lit. It's very cheap too compared to Tesla. It's only forty bucks, and I do own some Tesla uh, Lit, and I'm gonna add, keep adding into the position. Uh, it looks like it's gonna go down. If Tesla keeps going down, Lit should get cheaper too. Um, but uh, let's go ahead and go back to the rest of the video and hear uh, what they have to say. 
S&P 500. Why does Credit Suisse's analysts think an announcement is imminent? Well, I just got off the phone with Dan Levy with Credit Suisse, and he put out a note to clients that's saying while there's no guarantee a decision is imminent, he thinks the fact the S&P 500 is due to rebalance on September 18th and would typically put out an announcement of new inclusions uh, two weeks earlier means we could hear in a couple of days on September 4th. As you can tell by the Bloomberg, Tesla now exceeds the market cap of every major automaker in the world world and investors have been on high alert for a move to the prestigious S&P 500 ever since July and that's when Tesla really met the important benchmark for a company's inclusion uh, in its index and that is that it has to be profitable in the most recent quarter and the prior year. Now inclusion in the S&P 500 is a big event for index and mutual funds and ETF funds because what they have to do is add the all stocks in the S&P and for a stock to size of Tesla, that can be a major endeavor. In fact, uh, Dan Levy is uh, noted in his um, note that perhaps one has to question whether some of these major investors have already started to do that in advance of an official announcement. In fact, it's quite clear that many of the retail investors have been buying ahead of what is many believe to be a done deal uh, to take advantage of the so-called S&P bump. Back So once again, I like Tesla. Definitely check out the stock ETF Lit. I think that's another good investment. And man, I'm just so upset. Uh, you know, if you saw, I put it only in a thousand dollars. So uh, yeah, hopefully I'm more aggressive with the stock market because uh, yeah, I basically 10xed, and I was lucky enough that I put it in my Roth uh, or sorry, my traditional IRA. So when I sell it, I don't have to pay any capital gains tax, which it's like 15, it could go up if Joe Biden wins. Um, so 15, 20% that I would normally have to give to the government, they're not going to get any of it. Um, but yeah, let me know your comments, what you think, if you're okay with me covering stocks, not just cryptocurrency. And what's crazy, it's like cryptos are not in the news. I mean, if you, my old channel, when, when I was doing all of it, it was just so easy. I'd go on YouTube, find videos where they're covering crypto and Right now, all the attention's on the stock market. So let me know if you, what you think about this format. Um, but don't worry, I, I still love cryptos and I still have a significant part of my portfolio. Uh, I just haven't done as well in the crypto market. But you know, uh, if you watch one of my previous videos, I do feel like Bitcoin will hit 20,000 soon. And I wouldn't be surprised in the next five to 10 years to see Bitcoin at 200,000 and then you know I can brag but the only thing is i can't share i i don't feel like sharing any of my uh screens of my holdings of my crypto because like you know they, they you could steal that shit you know it's very easy to steal it so uh but you know i can show you my tesla stocks and i don't have to worry about a hacker and maybe a hacker will make me eat my words but yeah i, I can be way more open with my stock trading and my stock accounts but anyways let me know what you guys think and obviously now my videos are also a little bit longer too so yeah just give me your comments and your thoughts and hopefully i'm producing good content for you guys uh, thank you very much for watching uh subscribe if you haven't and i will oh and like but see i i just don't feel like those other like i know those youtubers they love to do that in the beginning and the end um, but yeah, I, I don't know if I'm going to do that. I think that's against my style. And then one other quick thing, um, there's two YouTubers that kind of encouraged me to buy Tesla. So if you're not following them, I feel like you probably are already following them if you're following me, but, uh, meet Kevin and Jer Jeremy, the stock guy. Those are the two guys that were really bullish on Tesla. And I'm glad that I was watching their YouTube videos cause they kind of inspired me to buy Tesla and they've obviously were much smarter than me because they put in, you know, 10 times, 100 times what I invested in Tesla, no, 200 times actually. So they're uh, good for them. But uh, yeah, if you haven't checked out their YouTube channel, I want to also give them props. All right. Thank you very much for watching and I will talk to you guys soon.